Okay, welcome back to Python for Java Coders. This is lesson six where we're going to talk about loops. Okay, so there are some differences here in the way that loops work in Python versus Java. There's also, of course, some similarities. So let's get started. Let's take a look at a simple for loop. So you can see here in Java, you, you declare int x to be zero and you set your condition and then you set you know, how it's going to be you know, incremented. Okay, in this case, it's plus one each time. Python's a little different. So watch what I do here, for x in range, and we're gonna start at zero and we're gonna go to 10, colon, and I print x. Okay, so let's go ahead. This is what we got out of Java, zero through nine. Let's see if we get the same thing out of Python. Oh my word, fantastic. So you can see a couple things. We don't use this structure. This is, again, the kind of C type. This is what C looks like. Java was kind of you know, built on top of C++, which was built on top of C, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, um, or I should say inherited some concepts from, uh, say built on top of. And Python's quite different. So you can see here, for x in range, again, this is our starting value, which is the same as you see here. This is our final value plus one. So it's less than. Okay, so never notice it doesn't get to 10. Okay, in Java, you could change that to an equal sign if you wanted to get to 10, but in Python, you'd have to change this to 11. Okay, this one goes to 11. Notice it automatically increments by one. Okay, so it went zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now in the second example, you can see it goes zero through eight. Okay, so let's do the same thing in Python, so same structure for x in range, zero to 10. And then if we want it to be incremented by two, we just put a two there, okay? No two or no number means it increments by one. Again, print x and we'll run that. And zero, two, four, six, eight. Again, conceptually very similar but you see the structure here is quite a bit different. Okay, the next example is counting down from 10 to zero. Okay, so that's gonna be an interesting one. So we got starting at 10, x equals 10, x is greater than or equal to zero. So in this case, x, or the zero is inclusive and we're incrementing or decrementing actually by one, we're going down by one. So in Python, it would be like this for x in range. Okay, our starting point, which is 10. In this case, we've got to go to negative one because we want to end on zero and we want to go one past that. Since we're going down, one past zero is negative one. And we want to tell it we're going to count down by negative one. So print x. I'm going to go ahead and run that. And hopefully we'll get the same result, 10 through zero. Fantastic. So far, so good. Okay, wow, this is where it gets kind of interesting. Okay. And it will come as no surprise that you know, Python's a little bit easier in this, this particular thing. Now notice here I used something called the care type and we didn't really go over that, at least in my class, we kind of skipped this. It wasn't part of the AP, I teach AP. This, we, this wasn't part of the AP requirements. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, well, I'll leave it there, I'll leave it there. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and do it. We can, we can play with that a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and print, and I'm gonna go title equals. Again, I didn't need to declare that as a string. It figured it out all on its own. Thank you, Python, for being so clever. Now, we need this basically the same structure. Okay, so if you remember back to one of the earlier videos, we don't use dot length, we use len. So for i in range, String, so I'm going to start at zero as always. Len title. And again, I want to go start at the beginning, go to the end. I don't need to put a one there, it's automatic. And then what I can say is I'm going to use a slice, if you remember that from the earlier video. Title i. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run that. And I should see pictures of you. 
Where's that? I put it on you. <laughs> the pictures of you. Sorry. Again, one of my favorite, all-time favorite songs. Uh, okay, so that is one way to do it. Now here we use the care thing. Here we use substring. Now again, in Python, we don't really, we wouldn't really need a substring here because we use the same structure. Okay, so I'm just going to skip that one because we don't really need it. Now, here's where it gets kind of interesting. If you recall this, this is a for each loop. Okay. And Python has the same thing. So what I can do here, it's, it's a lot simpler, of course. Say for letter in title. And what I like about Python, it's just like reading English. Okay, so for each letter in title, print letter. That's it. Okay. Again, you don't need to declare it as a type. You don't need to do again this Python or this Java thing to care array. Uh, again, I didn't talk about that with my students this year, but because they didn't need it. But you know, we didn't need to use substring i i plus one. It's just a, a much much simpler, cleaner syntax. So if I run that, and we'll get pictures of you again. And if you recall from one of the previous videos, I could have done this end equals quote quote, and that would print horizontally instead. And in Java, I could do that with print instead of println. So let's take a look at that. And hopefully that will come out. So I should put this here, sorry, print. Okay. And the last one. This is a while loop. Okay. Uh, for loops are very, very different in Python, but while loops are essentially the same. So I'm going to go ahead and type i equals zero while i is less than the length of the title colon okay loops okay in java where we'd have curly braces we use indentation instead i talked about this in previous videos tab again four spaces is the preferred method and then i would just go ahead and type print but what i could do actually to make it simpler i'll say letter equals title I and then print letter comma end equals quote quote and I have to do I plus plus actually no you can't do I plus plus it's I plus equals one I plus plus doesn't work I don't think let's make sure that works and then I'll check yeah okay that works let me try I plus plus I'm pretty sure it doesn't work in in, in Python I could be wrong who knows yep. invalid syntax okay so it's plus equals one so that is how you increment in Python. Okay. So again, while loops are, are mostly almost exactly the same as they are in Java. Okay. Now I could have just gone ahead and done this. This is this is a simplification. I could just go ahead and do this, uh, but I tend to I tend to print thing or type things out just because learners find it easier to understand what's going on. But you get the same output. Okay. And again, it's not title dot length. It is len title. Okay, so again, we're kind of combining some of the things from the previous videos and learning some new things here. So again, it's for variable in range, starting point, ending point plus one, and then the increment. Okay, remember if you're counting down, you have to go pa and you want zero included, you have to go past zero to negative one. And, and because you're going down, it's negative one. If you're going up, it's plus one. If you're going down, it is negative one. And yeah, so then you can see some slices here instead of substring, instead of using care at, and then again, the printing horizontally. In Java, it's print versus println. In Python, it's end equals and a couple little quotation marks there. Okay, easy peasy. Stay tuned for more.